inductance measurement using LabVIEW and MATLAB and checking using Bode plots from NILVIS and MATLAB. This is the final step response from MATLAB. It shows 9.8 Henry experimental measurement from this step response. The blue digital data is shown containing stair step values due to digital quantization at these small values. And the green smooth line is a good fit to that digital data. The 9.8 Henry experimental measurement comes from the measured time constant and the known resistance values. 10 Henry value was expected from the decade inductor box. NILVIS digital multimeter measured value was 10.9 Henrys. This is a portion of the MATLAB plotting program. NI LabVIEW step response shows uh, 60,000 samples at 200,000 samples per second. Note the electromagnetic relay contact bounces. This is a test circuit block diagram. That's the 10 Henry inductor and the 1.5 ohm 1% power resistor. The voltage across this resistor is measured in LabVIEW. LabVIEW sends the signal to open and close the relay contacts. That's the National Instruments Data Acquisition Box, the solid state relay, the electromechanical relay, 120 volts AC, and the decade inductor box containing the 10 Henry inductor, the 1.5 ohm power resistor. This is the lab view stacked sequence in the program. That's the setup instruction. It sends 4 volts DC to the solid state relay to open the contacts on the 120 volt AC relay. That's the instruction to turn on the DC power supply. This sends the 0 volts DC to the solid state relay to close the contacts on the 120 volt AC relay. And this collects and writes to a data file the selected number of data values, in other words, the voltages across the small resistor. There's a Bode plot calculation. It predicts the negative 0.05 dB low frequency gain. And it also predicts a corner frequency at about 4 hertz, or 26 radians per second. This is the NI Elvis Bode plot, which confirms the corner frequency at 4 hertz and also the negative 0.05 dB low frequency gain. This is the MATLAB theoretical Bode plot, which agrees. In summary, we've used multiple methods to measure the 10 Henry inductor.